Welcome back everyone to XM.com and to this uh, technical analysis video for Thursday, October 6th. I'm Christina Barthenew, investment analyst, and today I will share with you uh, my daily analysis on uh, WTI oil futures. Uh, well, oil prices are under the spotlight uh, after the sizable cut in production by uh, OPEC on Wednesday, which was uh, the largest uh, cut in oil since the pandemic. And uh, that came at the wrong time for the US just before the November midterm elections. Uh, but despite that surprising uh, cut announcement in production, uh, we haven't seen any sharp increases in crude prices yet. Uh, the price uh, increased uh, gently to uh, close slightly above the 50-day uh, moving average and peak at 88.42. Also, uh, the price managed to uh, overcome that uh, descending uh, trend line marginally though. Uh, well, on the one hand, that could be an encouraging sign that uh, the recovery may continue, but uh, that's an incident we have already seen back in August when the price uh, closed marginally above the 50-day moving average and then immediately uh, changed direction to the downside the next day. Uh, that is something we cannot exclude at the moment because uh, while the RSI is above its 50 neutral mark, but it has yet to overcome its previous high, uh, the stochastics are already in the overbought territory, increasing uh, uh, while well, keeping downside risks in the background. Uh, moreover, uh, the death cross between the uh, 50 and 200 day moving averages is still well intact, defending the negative trend in the market. However, if we switch to the weekly chart, uh, we can see here that uh, there is a bullish spining uh, candlestick, top candlestick, uh, vertically centered between a similar long and, long and upper uh, lower shadows just at the bottom of this uh, downtrend. Uh, I'm, so here I'm waiting to see whether uh, this week's uh, strong uh, bullish correction can confirm that uh, bullish candlestick setup, which is usually considered a sign of trend reversal. Uh, now back now back to the daily chart. Uh, well, the, if the recovery continues above 88.42, the price will need to, uh, well, uh, if that happens, uh, the next target uh, could be the 92.22 region where the price posed several times during the previous months. Uh, while higher than that, uh, the, the market may attempt to break above the 200-day moving average, currently at 96.89, with scope to reach the uh, key constraining zone between 100 101.50. Now, if the if the bear scenario materializes instead with the price pulling back below uh, that trend line, uh, currently around 86.27, uh, the uh, 200 the 20 day moving average uh, around 83.70. Uh, could come first into view. If the sell off continues from here, I expect some congestion between 81 and 79.15 uh, before we reach the, uh, the nine month low of 76.25. Uh, uh, then another leg lower from here may chart a new lower low around 72.72. .72. Uh, finally, uh, making a short summary, uh, well, I believe that uh, WTI oil futures are still uh, trading within a caution zone. Perhaps uh, additional gains uh, above the 50-day uh, moving average could reduce uh, those negative risks. Otherwise, a decline below uh, that, a pullback below that uh, trend line may resume uh, selling interest. So that's all for uh, WTI oil futures. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great uh, trading day.